What's good, YouTube? This is your neighborhood DraftKings addict. Bring you my top picks for Wednesday's main DK slate. All right, guys. So if you check out the screen, you'll see my results for the day. I was liking the slate a little bit too much, so um, I played a lot of a lot of GPPs. Most of them were the quarter GPPs, a couple of dollar, um, one hundred player contests, as you can see from the screen. But um, I pretty much maxed in at a quarter GPP uh, just for the hell of it. Alrighty, but um, as you can see, my results on the screen, guys. I bet twenty and won seven. Today's slate was a high-scoring affair, and unfortunately for me, I was locked in on a couple players who didn't do too well today. All right, guys. So take a look at it. All right. So if you look on here, my highest score was a three thirteen point five, um, and my snowflake of the night is Jarepko. You sorry? Let's say S O B. All right, for the kids in the in the chat. But anyway, guys, as you can see, this guy here didn't do jack to nothing. I don't even think he played 15 minutes uh, worth of playing time. So he was a waste of a spot. But Paul George went the hell off. Anthony Davis did okay. Carl Anthony Towns handled business. Rondo went nuclear. 57 draft king points. Come on, man. Alex Lynn, again, another guy, man. Threw him in just strictly for salary savings, man. Alex Lynn was like 3.4, 3.7K. All right, and this dude put up forty something DraftKings points, man. To be honest, I thought I thought that um the other guy was his name. Oh my goodness, uh, Bender would have uh did pretty well, you know, put up twenty five, thirty five DraftKings points. Um, but Alex Lane went in there and went ham as well, so not too bad, guys. But uh, a lot of the videos from the pick uh, picks from the video hit, you know. But too many damn snowflakes tonight, guys. You know, I had a lot of McCullum. I, I just like McCullum a little bit too much. If any of you played him, you already know what the outcome of that was, you know. He sucked balls. All right. So, but on to today. It is what it is, right? All right, so let's get into today's main picks. And so, some of the lineups that you guys saw, I had a couple lineups in the 300s. All right. If you want to know how I built those, here you go. Most of them was built with the draft dashboard app. I want to try it out, see, you know, how to do in some GPPs. It did okay. Like I said, I just, you know, it's all about what you put into the dashboard, man. You know, uh, you got to feed the good plays, you know, because at the end of the day, you make the lineups, not the not the application. But this gives you the information you need to select plays. All right, guys, it's called Draft Dashboard. There's a link in the description for a seven-day trial. Check it out. Let me know if you like it. If you like it, keep your subscription. If you hate it, then just cancel. It's that easy. Seven days, guys. But um, what I like about this is the position optimizer. If you click on this, it takes you to the position optimizer. And as you can see, this is tomorrow's main slate, eight games. Um, you can change the depth of the picks, but um, I'm going to leave it at the default. As you can see on here, Old Depot's at the top. But me personally, he's on a permanent fade list. He's dead to me, literally. So I won't be playing him, but you're more than welcome to. All right, but Tyreek Evans, he burned a lot of people. I think he'll be a good play. That's going to be long because everybody's pissed off that he got, got scratched the last game. But, hey, I love him to be low price. But uh, as you see, guys, I've watched a couple players. So what you want to do is you want to go through each position and select the players that you like and the positions that you like. All right. By clicking right here, if you want to sort it by anything like the value, the points per dollar, you can go right here. And you can see that Frank Nicolina is the uh, highest projected value as far as points goes. Right. All right, guys. All right, Patty Mills, Den Weedy, another another good play that's on uh, a projected high projected points per um per dollar. All right, so anywho, once you do all that, guys, click on lineup optimizer right here, guys. Go in here and it builds your lineup, optimizes your lineup. All righty, as you can see, it spent forty eight thousand six hundred dollars, so it left a couple of bucks on the on the table. As you can see, it's a pretty nice lineup, guys. I don't even lie. These Denver guys, I mean the Brooklyn guys, guys, get you some Brooklyn guys, man. They're at home. They've been playing hard. They've been putting up 110 point, uh, plus points on teams, man. And, uh, hey, I don't know about this guy Bledsoe, though, man. Oh, uh, damn. But let's say I don't like Bledsoe and I want to upgrade to Victor Oladipo, for, for instance. I would just go down there, click on Victor Oladipo. If I want to get some Tyreek Evans, you know, or Drogic, who's been a, a partner, I mean, a player that has a, um, a high usage right now with white side out. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave uh, leave him in there. And uh, if I want to save, I just click Save Lineup. There you go. Done deal. Then you go to your Save Lineups, and there you go. All right, shows your projected points, and then it shows, you know, the, the, the salary and everything. But uh, 
da- draft dashboard, guys. Check it out. Description in the link. All right, so let's get to my plays for the day, guys. All right. First and foremost, guys, let's go ahead and lock in this guy right here. This is my high, my high dollar guy I'm paying up for. And this is if Anthony Davis is not playing tomorrow. All right, I think he plays tomorrow, guys. I know he went out. He scared everybody. He scared the hell out of me. But I think Anthony Davis plays tomorrow. And he's in the smash matchup, by the way. So if AD is healthy, no side effects, lock him in, guys. Look at this dude playing 41 minutes and put up 70 DraftKings points versus his team before. All right, if Drew Holiday is out, I'm locking in AD again if he's healthy and playing. But for today, right now, I like Giannis. And matter of fact, I was able to put together a lineup that had both Giannis and AD in it because it's some, uh, some good value on the slate, guys. But anywho, I like Giannis at home versus LAC. They need to win. If you go over here and look at the uh, playoff race, Milwaukee is right at the, at the at the cutoff line, guys. All right. You got Detroit chasing. Don't know if they're going to catch them, but, hey, they got to win to stay relevant and to stay in the hunt. So I like Milwaukee at home. Giannis is the man. All right. If you look at his last couple of games, he's putting up 60-plus DraftKings points. All right. So I like him. Lock him in. A lot of people are going to play LeBron James. LeBron James has been hot, but he's playing against a tough – Defensive team called Toronto. Now, he is at home. He got his best bud, Kevin Love, back. So you never know what could go down. But me personally, I'm off LeBron James. All right. Just so we just so we're clear about that. All right. So after Giannis, another player I like, guys. He's been pretty consistent. This team is pretty much already out of it. So they're playing these guys uh, pretty much to get them some experience and, and uh, see what they got. And so I like Cameron Payne in a plus matchup versus Denver. All righty. A high-paced team. All right, so I like this guy here to put up about 25 or 30 DraftKings points, to be honest, guys. So, lock in Cameron Payne, man. Should be a lock for minutes, too, because uh, Dunn was out and stuff like that. So, he, he should, he's pretty much one of their few guards. All right. So, another play I like today, guys. Again, this is if Drew Holiday is ruled out. Ian Clark, all right, the shooting guard. All right. Well, point guard slash shooting guard. All right. I like him versus uh, Indiana, Indianapolis. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Pacers, so. All right, guys, so this guy's a shooter. They're playing at home. He put up 25 DraftKings points today on today's slate. I like him again tomorrow if Drew Holiday is ruled out. All right, guys, here's another player I like tomorrow in that same game. Because I love this game, just to be honest. Miles Turner. All right. Sabonis has been ruled out. So Turner will be uh, expected to log a few more minutes as a big man. And who's going to stop him? Okay, at center. All right, Diablo, uh, what's the old guy, Okafor? Come on, man. Last time these two teams met, my man played 35 minutes and put up 42 DraftKings points. He had a double-double on the boys. All right, I expect the same thing again. He had he almost had a double-double in the last game, had a couple blocks. You know, he's shooting three-pointers. You know, if you looked at the game today uh, versus New Orleans, um, you know, hey, they was hitting threes on uh, on that team today. All right, so uh, that was Dirk. Dirk was showing out, hitting three-pointers and stuff. So I expect Turner to put up a double-double, guys, get us at least, you know, 35 to 45 DraftKings points easily in a high-scoring high game. Again, if AD is playing, you know, it should be a pretty competitive game, man. All right. And both of these teams need to win, by the way. All right, another player I like, guys, I like this guy for the cheap and another team that, has to, that needs to win. All right, playing against a garbage team, a.k.a. Uh, the New York Knicks. You know, if you're a New York Knicks fan, sorry about that. But, uh, hey, truth hurts. <laughs> so, Josh Richardson, guys, if you look at him, man, 5K guy. Should be easy for 30 points or more. Last game, he put up uh, 41 DraftKings points. Now, that was a double overtime game. All right, I understand that. But even in the normal game, he should be able to give us about 25 to 30 DraftKings points, man. And this is versus New York. You know, this is Mike Beasley defense, I believe. So, all right. So I like Josh Richardson in the plus matchup at home where they need to win. No white side. They're going to need his production. I'm locking them in, guys. All right. So these are my top five plays for tomorrow's slate at the moment. All right. Some other plays that I did not put in my, my top five that you want to keep an eye on is Jeremy Lamb, who's playing uh, for Batum, who's injured. You know, you might want to lock him in. All right. Another play um, that's been hot, this guy here, Demari Carroll, man. Jesus Christ, I wish I would have had him. But uh, look at that, 36, 43, 33. All right, they're playing against Charlotte. All right, last two times these teams met, he only put up 25 DraftKings points. All right, but Batum was playing that game. Now it's Jeremy Lamb. 
So it could be a plus game for, for DeMar Carroll. So that's somebody that you want to put on the radar. All right. C.J. Miles is another player that I don't know what it is about this team, but, you know, he kills uh, Cleveland. All right, 18 draft, 18 minutes, he put up 27 DraftKings points. So, um, I know, I think Van Fleet is uh, is out right now. And I know DeRozan sat last game, but he should be okay to play for tomorrow. But I like CJ Miles, and, you know, if you're playing in attorneys, I like him as a GPP punt at 3.6K, guys. All right, another guy from that same game that I like that's cheap, another GPP punt, Psycho, man. Again, he's killing Cleveland. 23 minutes, 34 draft king points. He's getting rebounds, assists, putting up points, a couple steals. All right, guys. And you look at the last couple of games, you know, he hasn't been doing too well, but his minutes are consistent. He's getting minutes. All right. I like Sykem in a plus matchup versus Cleveland. All right. All right. Next up, another guy, probably strictly GPP, Jonas Valanciunas. All right. Again, another player that has killed. Cleveland, this dude played 18 minutes and put up 39 DraftKings points, guys. 40 damn DraftKings points. All right. Enough said. But strictly GPP because I don't trust him. He can put up 30 or he can put up 12. <laughs> All right. Another player I like, guys, in a plus matchup is uh, Henson versus uh, the Los Angeles Clippers. All right. The Clippers, you know, you want to play bigs against uh, the Clippers, guys. All right. DeAndre Jordan is an excellent rebounder, but his defense sucks. All right. But I like John Henson. Again, 5,100. Not not too expensive. I like him for the cheap. Another guy that's been hot lately, guys. Rondé Hollis Jefferson. He's been hot lately. He's 6.8K, though. All right, so he's kind of pricey. But, hey, look at that. He put up 45 draft keys points versus his team last time they met. All right, so and he put up 41 against the last team, and he's been over 35 for the last three games. All right, so this is a guy that's hot. They're at home playing Charlotte. These guys are still playing. So he's a good play as well, guys. So, all right, that's some of my plays that I like right now, guys. But uh, if you go to the link in the description and sign up for Draft Dashboard, you can get access to my player pool. Every slate, I go in here and I, I have players that I watch. If you go and sign up through the description in the link, you can click on the watch player list under your profile and go ahead and click on Watch Draft King Addicts Picks, and it will load in my player pool into your draft dashboard. And then you can go and optimize your lineup and then go in there and tweak it as you see fit. You know, upgrade players, all right? So, all right, guys. So, oh, that one spent the whole 5K. Collison Stevenson. Uh, that's not too bad, not too bad. All right, guys. But, yeah, so good luck on tomorrow's slate, guys. Eight games, you know. Let's get it in, guys. So. Comment on the video, guys. Let me know how you did on the last slate. Did you love my picks on the last video? Did you hate them? You know. All right. Subscribe to the channel if you want to uh, continue to get the picks. All right. So that way you can uh, get a notification once I post my videos. But uh, good luck to everybody tomorrow, guys. And uh, let's see that green.